the iPhone 13 Pro Max can go up to $2,230 Canadian. Samsung's new Galaxy S22 Ultra up to $2,210 Canadian. The Galaxy Z Fold 3 up to $2,400 Canadian. This iPhone 13 Pro that I'm holding right now, $1,540 Canadian. And this is all before sales taxes. There's no doubt that smartphone prices have been increasing over the years and manufacturers are pushing the limits of how much we're willing to spend for these quintessential devices. It's insane to think that only a few years ago, smartphone prices were several hundred dollars less than what they are today. But why are smartphones so damn expensive today? Why are we paying so much for what are essentially just slabs of glass and metal? Well, I've found three reasons that I believe have contributed to smartphones pushing well over a thousand dollars. And just as a disclaimer, I will be mostly focusing on the iPhone as it's very dominant in the US and in Canada. But most of this info will be relevant to other smartphones as well. Anyways, this conundrum all starts with the very first thing that every student learns in Econ 101. As crazy as it sounds, smartphone manufacturers are running out of people to sell phones to. In the past, the average upgrade cycle was dictated by the two-year contracts with smartphone carriers. But when those contracts somewhat died, consumers had less reason to upgrade their phones every two years, and thus, people were holding on to their phones for much longer. Apple clearly recognized this. Although they live and die by their iPhone sales, which make up over 50% of their revenue each quarter, Apple has tried to shift their company to focus on prioritizing the constant revenue stream of services rather than the one-time purchase of hardware products. This leaves smartphone manufacturers in an ultimatum. Either sell more phones or sell more expensive phones. And I'm pretty sure you can guess which route they chose. So people aren't upgrading their smartphones as often anymore. But that's not the only reason why smartphones are getting so expensive. It also has to deal with the fact that smartphones are just a lot better than they were 10 years ago. For context, the parts cost for an iPhone 5 from 2012 was around 210 US dollars adjusted for inflation. This iPhone 13 Pro that I'm holding right now, its parts cost totals to around 570 US dollars. But this is just the parts cost. It doesn't factor in production costs, shipping costs, the salary of the Apple Store employees, the salaries of the software engineers that maintain iOS, and the thing that Apple hates the most, taxes. Smartphones today have better build qualities, bigger and better screens, nicer cameras, louder speakers, bigger batteries, faster components, and new features. All of this means that it costs a lot more to make and produce a smartphone nowadays, not to mention the insane amounts of research and development costs that are necessary for these improvements. So let's recap so far. People are holding on to their smartphones for longer now. Smartphones are getting better, which means that production costs have to go up and thus prices need to go up as well. But there's one more piece of the puzzle that I have not mentioned yet. And it has to do with a little something called clout. There was a study done by Compare My Mobile in 2020, revealing that users with iPhones were 76% more likely to be swiped right in dating apps. Obviously, I can't take this number at face value, but it does expose something very important about our society. Smartphones aren't just smartphones anymore. Smartphones are becoming such an indispensable part of our lives that many of us rely on them to make a living. This is because smartphones have replaced a ton of other gadgets that we would have otherwise had to carry with us. The average smartphone today is our camera, our music player, our cell phone, our entertainment device, and our main form of communication with the world. Manufacturers know this, which is why they can get away with charging an arm and a leg for devices that they know that we need. But that's only one part of this equation. 
the other part of why a smartphone isn't just a smartphone now anymore is because of one thing that many of us Gen Z kids crave, status. I will just flat out say it, buying the newest and most expensive phone is instant clout for about three days. Smartphones have become status symbols now, and paying for the most expensive phone sends the message of, hey, I am superior to you because I can pay for the latest and greatest smartphone. This is why I see seemingly average people paying hundreds of dollars more for iPhone 13 Pros and Pro Maxes when they wouldn't have even noticed the difference if they had bought an iPhone 13. Because, well, I guess it's not about the money, it's about sending a message. To wrap up, the reason why kidneys are being used to pay for smartphones today is summarized by the following equation. Less people upgrading their phones multiplied by how our phones are a lot nicer now to the power of how our smartphones aren't just smartphones anymore equals a more expensive phone. Yes, it is true that it costs more to buy the best smartphone today than it was to buy the best a few years ago. But unless you're a real tech nerd like myself, or a clout chasing Gen Z kid who always wants the latest and greatest phone every year, you're probably better off holding onto the phone that you currently have. And when you do eventually upgrade, you'll probably hold onto that phone for a long time. Hey everyone, thanks for sticking to the end of the video. Speaking of expensive phones, if you want to check out my reviews on the iPhone 13 Pro, they will be right off to the side over here. Anyways, as always, gently tap the like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.